the video that has people all over the world fired up on social media. A passenger who happens to be an Asian doctor roughed up and bloodied as he was forcibly removed from a United flight. Tonight's new developments, Houston Congressman Al Green calling for United to change its policy. And just within the past few hours, a new statement including an apology from United CEO. Meanwhile, we are focused on informing you after this incident about what your rights are as a passenger. Our Sophia Bosile joining us live from Bush Airport with what you need to know the next time you fly. Sophia? Well, basically, you have no rights. Once you buy your plane ticket, you are agreeing to the airline's overbooking policies. Now, federal rules do say that if an airline does overbook a plane, they have to ask for volunteers. And then at that point, that's when the airline will decide what the compensation is, whether that's a voucher or a gift card. But if nobody wants to switch, the airlines can give you the boot. I think everyone has seen it who's got internet connectivity. And I think it's a very troubling video to watch. Police officers forcibly removing a man from United Airlines flight after he refused to give up his paid seat, a video which has many travelers questioning if this could happen to them. The consumers do have rights and they're not just cattle that's being shepherded from one place to another. Donna Carney is a Houston consumer rights attorney. She says it's important to know your airline's overbooking policies. The fine print is what will dictate if a, an airline can actually remove you from the flight that you've paid for and that you're already sitting on. United Airlines policy says it can deny boarding to a passenger. Nationally, transportation department statistics show fewer than 1% of all travelers are bumped from flights. In 2016, ExpressJet, a regional airline operator for several major carriers, bumped the most passengers. Southwest was second. United had a much better record at number eight, bumping just 0.4% of its 86 million passengers in 2016. But public's perception can skew the numbers. It's just outrageous. It's unacceptable behavior. I just think this is ridiculous. This is a racial issue, I think. If you do find yourself giving up your seat, Donna Carney says, make sure you get the airline's position in writing. If you're about to lose money or not get the refund you anticipated or you're not getting the benefit of your bargain, at a minimum, get something in writing from the merchant. Again, take a look at your policies, read that fine print. I know we always go past it whenever you're buying your ticket. You might want to review it just in case. Reporting live from Bush Intercontinental Airport, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank